Hey guys, it's old Brookie coming at you from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I want to do some blues guitar for my buddy Ross out in California, going out to downtown Los Angeles here. So uh, I'm playing my old Tysco, Tisco, Tesco checkmate acoustic guitar. Well, this is not the original one I had. <laughs> it's a uh, one I got in the pawn shop, but it's in really nice condition except the neck is really jacked it's horrible to play but it looks good and it feels like my first guitar and i even left the nasty rusty old strings on there just to give me uh, an authentic uh, frustrating depressing um, experience because i'm a glutton for punishment i like to practice and play gigs in the hot sun and load the van and stay up all night and uh, torture myself basically with music <laughs> anyway me and Ross were doing a, a fun zoom meeting this morning and uh, I was telling Ross that if you take your index finger and lay it really flat on uh, the fifth and fourth strings that second fret those are B and E notes So yeah, get used to lay, leaving that finger right there. Don't let it go. So what we were kind of doing was some boogie like. I'm just doing that zero, zero, three, four, zero, zero, four, two. So I might be hitting the two twos when I go. Hear, hear that? Yeah. Let's add the metronome. So, yes, I realize this guitar sounds very trashy. That's kind of... <laughs> that's what I'm having fun with, okay? So... Let's take it down about eh, 50, let's go 60 beats a minute with my Peterson Strobe, Strobo Plus HD. One, a two, a three, here I go. Got my uh, picking hand just resting here. These fingers are out. I had a guy thank me today for telling him to get those fingers out, quit making a fist. Get that tension out of your right hand. Let that relax. Let these fly. Think of a little birdie's wing. You're going to fly. It's a butterfly wing, not a fist. All right. Cool. So we're using the metronome. That's a really good thing to get into. Again, that's a Strobo Plus by Peterson. You have to have it updated. You have to have the software updated. So it's an upgrade. To it's a, This is a tuner, and you upgrade it to become a metronome. I was looking at it. I thought, man, this has got to be a metronome. But it wasn't, so I realized you had to upgrade it. I just wanted it for a tuner. All right, the main riff. So I walked it up to A after, you know, maybe four of those. So we're just serving up the next chord on a platter. E, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. That's zero, two, three, four. That's a little bit of a bass walk up. We're walking to the next chord. Kind of, you're kind of telling your bandmates, hey guys. Heads up, we're changing chords. And you can kind of hear it. You can anticipate where it's going. So I land on A. It's just like the E, one string over towards the floor. Exact same thing. But we're going to vary it. You know, we don't have to 
I'm just trying to give you a baseline of riffs and you can add stuff to it. So there's your A. And then when I go back to E, I like to grab this G and give it kind of a, a little twist on that third fret, sixth string. That, that tells me we're going back to E. So I'll take it from the top. Two, ready, go. So you can hear me walking up to the B. Uh, I like how that G was very dramatic. Boing! <laughs> so we're walking up to the B. So I go fourth fret, sixth string, open A two times, A sharp, first fret, then the B. That's your target. So think of it as target practice. You're just trying to hit a bullseye. You're trying to hit that B and you're walking up. Once you get to that B root note, you can assemble your chord. So I, I assembled the chord one note at a time. Yeah. So I hit that B7 chord. Do what you can, then we can walk it down to A, B, B flat, A, two, one, zero. Then you can do your kind of fancy turn around. That was two, two, five, five, four, four, three, three, two. And then the final. Zero, one, two. So again, that turnaround. For B7, if you want to be lazy, just use index middle ring. That's plenty. That's a good chord, which we can move up. Ugh, sorry. All right, I'll do the whole thing. Which, again, I might vary it because that's what we do. That was 60 beats a minute. Um, boy, this guitar is miserable to play, but I'm having fun doing it. Just because, uh, you know, I don't know. I like messed up stuff. I like it a little hard. I like it a little difficult. I like it a little bit unusual. Yes, yeah, so you can play a brand new perfect uh, Taylor acoustic. That'd be nice, but I'm kind of digging this thing right now. Um, I'm going to sign off here in a minute but before I do that I'm just gonna remind you my new CD Amped Up is available it's got 18 rockin instrumentals all by me my name's Brooke Hoover uh, it's on uh, Deep Eddy Records I'm an ASCAP artist it was mixed by Dave Klein in Los Angeles he did a really good job he played the, the organ on uh, track 16 The Legend of Drake so some of these songs are a tribute to my cat Drake. They're instrumental rockers, blues, uh, psychedelic freak out guitar, just kind of whatever I felt like. 
Uh, there's, yeah, 18 instrumental rockers. That's me with all my amps on the cover. But if you'd like to order one, they're $15 mailed. Just uh, hit me up. With, I'll send one out. Uh, send $15 to my PayPal or Venmo. And I'll ship one. Give me your mailing address. I'll, I'll mail it out. And uh, I'm pretty proud of the album. I need to listen to it again and just remember what the heck it's all about. But uh, once you do an album, you get really close to it. You're just so in, in every song, every note, every drum part. And then you just kind of let it go. And then you come back and listen to it and like, oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> or not great. But in, in this case, I'm really satisfied with the album. All right, so that's Brooke Hoover doing uh, some blues for my friend Ross in Los Angeles and anybody else that wants to boogie. I think that stuff is cool. If you're interested in that metronome, it's a Peterson Strobo Plus. It's also a strobe tuner. All right, I got to load the van, man. I got to go play in Wisconsin at a car show tonight and then come back. So it's going to be kind of a big drive. We're going to be super hot. We're going to get sweaty and greasy. I'll need to change my strings and my clothes after that gig because it's all going to be grease, a big, greasy, sweaty mess. But it's going to be fun. We're going to sell some records. We're going to have, we're going to make some new fans. We're going to get crazy on the stage. We're going to drink some beer. We're going to get wild, man. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> okay. Have a good rest of the day. Thanks for hanging out.